It's almost necessary to deal with this summer heat, but people in one St. Pete neighborhood are worried the trees on their streets are getting a hack job, alleging power crews are damaging their trees when they trim the branches. Jada Williams is taking a closer look at the tree trimming work happening on both sides of the bay. In St. Pete's Central Oak Park, trees line the roads, most lush and round, others shaped more like a Y. That peculiar look now has many raising questions. I think they're uh, a tragedy and I think they're harming one of the most valuable types of infrastructure we have. We first told you about the Y-shaped trees in June when Susan Roguer shared her worry about the structural integrity of the trees. They don't uh, look stable, really. They just don't look stable. A spokesperson for Tico told us power companies cut the trees for hurricane season since fallen trees are the leading cause of power outages. I asked Florida Gulf Coast University biologist Brian Brovard if trimming helps. I felt like after Hurricane Ian, there were a lot of places where had we not had Irma and the intensive trimming that took place following that hurricane, that when Ian hit, we would have been in a much worse place. But Carol Ann Bennett with the Tampa Tree Advocacy Group doesn't see how the shape of the tree protects the power line. If you look at the way a lot of these trees are cut, I look at them and I'm like, well, I don't see how this solves the problem of preventing the lines from being from being taken out of the tree falls. Bovard adds that trees are resilient and cutting them into the shape of a Y likely won't cause harm. Those trees are going to grow up towards that gap above where the tree was trimmed and they'll fill that in. Now, what they might do if it's a power line situation, as you described, is they may actually sort of form a circle around the power line. So it looks almost like a, a donut hole uh, around the power line. Still, people like Bennett want to know why the answer to allowing the trees and power lines to coexist comes in the shape of a Y. Jada Williams, ABC Action News.